Well, I loaned my probe out to a friend, <laughs> and um, he had an accident with it. Uh, he accidentally started it up while it was in the machine, and it wrapped the cord around and pretty much destroyed it. So he got me a replacement, and uh, he got it with a 10 millimeter shaft. So um, I'm using this because all of my tool holders are either 3 eighths, half inch, or uh, quarter inch. So <laughs> it's a little overkill, but uh, that's a probe mounted in an NMT B30 collet holder. So we'll insert this in the machine and we'll do some testing. Okay, I've got the probe mounted up. Over here, I've got the panel installed. And if I uh, test the probe out, you see that's working. If we look over here at the uh, Linux machine, the probe is working there. So the next thing to do is to uh, set this up and zero it. Okay, so let's zero them out. First I'll do the x-axis. Now I'll do the y-axis. Now we'll do the z. And now I'll tell it to go back where it was. All right, now we're going to see if it can determine the height of an object. So that worked perfectly. Okay, so here you can see that I've got the probe in a hole. The hole is about 0.3 inches. I actually measured it at 0.316. So now it's not lined up. And let's pretend that we had to drill in the center of that hole. Let's test out the routine. Now it's going really slow. That's how you get the high accuracy. And it has now set it to exactly center and it tells me that the diameter is 0 .3150 and 0 .316. So uh, I can believe that that hole is probably not exactly round. So that is dead on. There's an oval shaped hole. And uh, if I had to go and try and set this probe up to be in the middle of this oval, normally uh, to do that by hand is very difficult. So let's see if the probe can handle it. Now to do the slow and accurate measurements. Boom, dead center on that. And it's saying that uh, it's uh, 1.5 by 0.75 inches and that is the dimensions of that oval. So, whew, 
That is going to help so much.